Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Kondrat, and I got some exciting news. Biofeedback to improve the vision with uh, macular degeneration. Is that possible? And what this machine does, it kind of maps your retinal sensitivity. So patients with macular degeneration may have a scotoma or a scar where their vision is blocked. Uh, many patients with macular degeneration tell me, you know, doctor, I got this blind spot in the center, and if I could just move out over to the side, I'll be able to read and use that new, new area. And this, this machine does exactly that. And it's really exciting because this study showed that after 10 treatments of around 10 minutes each, patient, patients had over a 300% improvement of their acuity. They were able to read much better. In fact, the average improvement of reading was about 28 words per minute. And also they measured their central fixation was much better. Hi, I'm Robert Green, Dr. Kondrat's patient. I've been working now with the MP1 for six separate lessons. And so far, it's, it's been the most enlightening uh, treatment that I've had here because for one, it showed me really what, what I was up against in dealing with the uh, blind spot in my left uh, retina. And <clears throat> so we've been able to retrain already my brain to, to much better function and work around that blind spot. Uh, I'm now, I I'm now can read fluently across the lines following them. And also I, I can now, with, just with my left eye, I can actually speed read down a column of newspaper. With, with the left eye, I was, I was almost, uh, could not read uh, hardly at all with the left eye. So you went from not being able to read at all with the left eye now to being able to speed read. Yeah, exactly. And that's, so that's, pretty, that's pretty, pretty remarkable. Right. It, it is indeed. It's, it's the most enlightening thing so far. Okay, this uh, is a, a shot of his a retinal map. And this part here indicates where uh, Mr. Green was fixating and it was rather a poor, unproductive area of his retina. And what we're doing is re retraining him to look down in that area. And since we've, uh, using, using biofeedback, and since we're retraining him to use that particular locus, he's now able to function much more efficiently. Uh, this uh, photograph shows um, the improvement of the fixation in this, in this particular area here. So we transferred the fixation away from this area of his previous uh, central fixation, but unfortunately he has a small macular scar there. And even though the brain has been trained to use that area, it's not productive. So now we're focusing, we're shifting the focus away outside the scar. And his visual acuity, reading ability, and fixation has dramatically improved. Another improvement that I'm experiencing is that my coordination between the two eyes now is, is, is improving on a da daily basis. So when I'm driving, I no longer have the left eye fighting the right eye and looking and focusing on the road in front of me. And how about you do a lot of hiking, uh, and how does that uh, affect your ability? Well, backpacking has always been something I've pursued all my life. And the, my ability to, to, to step with confidence is, is returning. And here we see a patient undergoing an MP-1 microperimeter biofeedback session. The patient uh, looks into uh, essentially black space and the technician directs the patient to gaze in different directions and there's an auditory tone. Once the patient looks in the proper direction, there'll be a uh, uh, audio feedback which indicates that he's now looking in the new focus, the part of the retina which will give him much better acuity. And you can hear the sound right now. I look away, Robert. When he looks away, there's no auditory feedback. Now look at the new area of focus. So this auditory feedback helps train uh, the, the brain and the eye to coordinate to begin utilization of this new area. And this is a, a map 
that the technician can uh, visualize to determine if he's properly fixating in the new focus. And there it is right there, he picked it up. Again, good focus. So we're pleased to announce that due to the generosity of the Restore Vision Foundation, we will be conducting this study and uh, the Vision Foundation is going to be funding uh, all expenses for this particular program uh, for 10 patients. So if you do have macular degeneration and you're interested in seeing if you qualify for this study, please give our office a call. The area code is 623-516-0010.